All right, guys, so there's two ways to transfer information from one phone to another. One of them is using iCloud, and actually, Apple, what they started doing is giving you free iCloud storage just for 20 days or so, so you can transfer information that way. So that means you don't need your old phone with you when you get your new one in order to transfer information. However, there's the other way where you have both phones. You have the old one and the new one together where you can just transfer them as long as you have one beside the other. Just make sure your old one has Bluetooth turned on. Then as soon as you start the setup with the new one, you're gonna notice that a message will pop out saying that if you like the quick start or to transfer everything. So there's various ways to go around this. Both work really well. But anyways, right now what I'm gonna show you in this old iPhone, I'm gonna show you how to get into those settings. So you would go into your settings. Once you're in your settings, just scroll down, go right into general. In general, again, scroll all the way down, you're gonna see transfer or reset. Just hit that option and you're gonna see this, get started. If I tap here, it's actually gonna prepare my iPhone to transfer everything. What will that do? Well, it's just gonna back up everything on iCloud. Now, I myself don't have any iCloud space. I only have whatever space Apple gives you right now, which I think it's five gigs and that's it. However, when you're gonna transfer stuff, they actually give you unlimited free space to make that transfer. So right now I'm just gonna press get started, then continue on. Then it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID. So just put in your Apple ID password and then it's gonna take us to this screen right here. So next up, we're gonna see this. Transfer apps and data, yep. And we'll start transfer. Now, if you scroll down, you're gonna see apps that may not be backing up to iCloud. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and move all app data to iCloud. So just tap this option, the first option up here. And right now, all we have to click is undone. Well, what happens then? We just have to wait for that backup to be done. And then we can go on to the new phone. Where you actually don't even need the old one anymore if you do it through iCloud, because on your new one, as you go throughout the setup process, it will ask if you would like to transfer everything from your iCloud, and it's gonna be that easy. However, let's say you don't wanna do it that way. You just wanna transfer it directly from one phone to another. Then it's just gonna be as easy. You don't have to really prepare your iPhone for that. We can just go on to your new one, turn it on. So we're gonna go on and turn it on. We're gonna transfer everything. We're gonna do the fresh setup right now. So it's our power key, read for the Apple logo. It's gonna load up. Once it loads up, just make sure this one's turned on. And you also wanna make sure that your Bluetooth is turned on on your old one. On the new one, just going to select your language, select whichever region makes sense to you. And here's our quick start. This will help you get started with everything. So we are gonna go through our quick start. So usually with quick start, I would get a message here. However, if you don't see one right now because our screen is on, just turn it off for now. When we turn our screen back on, we should be getting a pop-up like so. So we can go on and continue. Right now, that one's just gonna connect to this. Just position it on top of the other one just to scan this right here that you guys can see. So I'm just gonna scan that. Hopefully I can get that in the frame. There we go. So right now it's scanning it. And here we go. So right now it's actually copying all my settings from my previous phone into this one. So at this point in time, it's gonna ask me for the passcode that I had from the other one. Once I put that in, it's just gonna start the setup. It's gonna activate it in just a second. And yes, it's recommended that you put in your SIM card from your old one to your new one right now, just to make things faster, just because you don't need your SIM card in your old one anymore, but you could do that later. And we're actually gonna do that later because we didn't take it out yet. And we're just gonna take it out later. It doesn't really matter. So face ID, you could set this up right now or you can set it up later. Right now, we're just caring about transfer information we're just gonna take care of this face ID thing later on. It's very, very easy throughout the settings, we can do that. So I'm just gonna go on to set up later. And right now it's gonna give me the two options that I mentioned from before. So right now we can download from iCloud. So that's an option since we did the iCloud backup or we can just transfer directly from our phone. Let's just choose for now directly from our phone. Just press on agree, I agree again. And as you guys will see, it's gonna transfer all your data and your settings. Continue on, press continue gonna continue as well. Siri, same thing, you can set it up right now, you can set that up later. Just to make this process faster, we're gonna set up later in settings. And here we go. This is the point where I want it to go because usually with newer phones, you would need to go on into the latest iOS update. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Um, not everybody's gonna see this, so if you don't see an update, it's okay. But normally you would see one. So we're just gonna download and install. 
So once again, this is one of those steps that not everybody's gonna see. Not everybody's gonna see an update for your phone. Now with your old phone, just make sure it doesn't turn off. So even if you have to hook up some electricity while you're doing this, do it. Depending how old it is, maybe the battery's not 100% anymore. All right, so right now if you had an update or you didn't, you will see the screen next. So right now the update was done. But again, if you didn't have an update on your new phone, you would just get straight to this right here, where it's gonna tell you about how long it's gonna take. So at this point in time, all we can do is just wait. All right, so once it's done, we're just gonna see this. Transfer has been complete. So we can just go on to continue. And right now it will ask us if we want to erase this phone. It's up to you. You can erase this later, you can erase it now. We don't really have to do anything with the old phone at the moment. Just because you transferred information from one phone to another does not mean it wiped everything clean from your old one. Your old one still has all your information. You do have to erase it yourself if you want to. Now on your new phone, I'm just gonna set this one on the side. Your new phone, if you swipe up, you will finally see this, restore complete. We can just continue on and we can keep going with the setup process. In this case, I do wanna share. You will see the welcome screen, just swipe up and that's it. You're gonna see the exact same things that you had from before. Now, if some of the apps are not downloading fast enough, just double tap on them and that's gonna refresh it or just restart your phone and that should get everything synced up. Also, if things are still not syncing up for some reason, just log into your app store. So here we go, there's my app store, I'm gonna open it up. Just log in, it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID and you are all done. We are all finished setting up everything with your phone. We just transferred everything, so everything should be identical from your old one into your new one. Now, like I mentioned before, you can put in your SIM card right now or you could have done it from before. It's the same thing. And that would be it for this video. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.